right back there. And then what is it on the other side? 28, so we're conducting a mosquito study in Winterville, North Carolina in a suburban neighborhood. Our research aims to compare the effectiveness of two barrier sprays in controlling the mosquito population in residential environments. So here we're putting in these hooks to hang adult mosquito CDC light traps from. There you go, plugged in. And then we'll bait the entire trap with dry ice, which emits CO2, which attracts mosquitoes. So the mosquitoes are attracted to the, the CO2 coming off the dry ice. And then they're sucked in there and there's a fan that blows them down into this little netting. And so they're blown down all night. And then in the morning, you come back and take this thing off. And, and, uh, and this is an over trap to catch the over, the over position, the eggs, the mosquito eggs. Zip tie it to the bottom and fill it with water. To find a branch. Yeah. Yep, yep, turn right. So basically what we're doing, um, we set out some mosquito traps and then the guys will go out and collect them and bringing them to me and what I do is I'll count how many eggs are on the mosquito strips and then we let them dry. After they have dried we put the egg strips into water and rear them to adults. Then the adults are identified to species. So far we're finding Aedes apopictus, Aedes japonicus, and Aedes triceriatus. So after we freeze the mosquitoes we then separate them into a pan and then we separate out what is a mosquito and what's not a mosquito. So over here we have what isn't a mosquito. Then I also separate out the male mosquitoes and I put only the female mosquitoes into a petri dish where I later sort them by genius and species. After they're put into the petri dish I then look underneath the microscope to determine what the genius and species is. There's about 66 different species of mosquitoes in North Carolina. Um, these are some of the common ones that I usually find that I separate them out into the petri dish first and then I count them and then record them into an Excel spreadsheet. Some common ones I see are Culex pipiens, Quicca fasciatus. Anopheles punctipentis are really common. Right now the Sraphia columbiae population is really high and um, these are usually the ones that I usually see but every now and then you'll get some rarer ones that are not as often seen in the area. We hope that findings of this study will be useful in mosquito population control and ultimately in reducing the risk to mosquito-borne diseases.